the m magnificent night journey that took place known as Al-Mi'raj, where the Prophet was taken to the seventh heaven. Did this take place physically or spiritually? Did it take place with his body and soul or was it only with his soul? Akhi, the most authentic opinion is that this particular journey, the night journey, which Allah Azza wa mentioned in chapter 17, Surah Al-Isra, Subhanal Ladi Asra Bi Abdihi Laylan, Min Al Masjid Al Harami Il Al Masjid Al Aqsa. All praise and glory be to Allah Azza wa who has taken his servant from Mecca, the Masjid Al Haram, to Al Masjid Al Aqsa in Jerusalem, in Al Quds. This took place physically and spiritually, by body and by soul. And the Prophet went there and he led all the prophets and messengers of Allah in prayer in Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa, whether this took place before the ascension to the heavens or after. There is a difference of opinion among scholars. Imam Ibn Kathir stated that the prayer leading the prophets took place after he came down from the heavens and not before. And this is why he says that whenever he went with Jibreel in the seventh heavens, every time he meets an angel or he meets a prophet and he says, who's this? He says, this is Muhammad. And they give salam to him, exchange salam. If he had led them in prayer earlier in Jerusalem, they would have recognized him. So Ibn Kathir says that this is an indication that leading the prayer took place after he came down from the heavens. And this is an, an issue of not uh, of great importance, but it took place by the soul and the body. The Prophet was, was ascended with his body and came back. Because if it were a vision, if it were a, a dream, we all have dreams. It, there's no great emphasis or a miracle to be considered. So this incident took place once in his life, body and soul. But later on, the Prophet told us some about many visits that took place only with his soul, where he visited different places, where he's seen different things, and he reported that to us, whatever he saw in Jannah, whatever he saw in hellfire, in the torment of the graves, etc., all of this took place with his vision, not with his soul, and Allah knows best.